Alrighty, we are here with quarterback Tim Connor. Now, Tim, with a uh, quarterback from Wesley and Bo Jordan gone, and he was pretty much your main competition for top ranks in the conference last season. With him graduate, how do you plan on carrying on that success this season? Well, obviously, Bo Jordan, he was a great quarterback. Uh, he led his team to a conference championship, and that's really the only thing I'm trying to do this year. Um, I'm not really worried about being first in the, in the passing yards or touchdowns, and uh, I'm just really worried about conference swing. If I could, if I could accomplish what Bo Jordan did last year, I'll be, I'll be really happy with that. Tim, you have a lot of uh, experience at the wide receiver position this year. Ryan Roach, Wesley Adelette. Uh How does that affect your mindset as you go into the season, knowing that you can rely on them to get the, get the ball to and make plays? Right. Yeah, you can definitely rely on Wesley to throw the ball out there. I mean, he's the best receiver in the conference, and obviously one of the top five in the nation. That's, I mean, that's the way I see it. And, I feel like I've got a lot of confidence in Roach. You know, I, I can throw a jump ball up, and I feel real confident with him going down and getting it. And then there's, you know, four or five other guys that they've been here. They're either be sophomores, juniors, or even seniors. And, you know, I've got a ton of confidence in our receiving group this year, and I, I have no problem trying to throw it to anyone that we have, not just with. Now, Tim, heading into your um, senior season, you know, you've done it all, pretty much played a lot through your career. Uh, what was one thing you worked on this offseason to get ready for well, 2010? The main thing that I worked on was just uh, really I just watching film. Decision making was was uh, a big problem for me last year. I threw too many interceptions, and uh, you know the arm strength and the arm, you know the arm accuracy that comes. It's just really uh, decision making and knowing the defenses. I studied a lot with Coach Hayes this summer. I stayed up here, and I, you know that's the main thing that I worked on is just reading defenses and making much better decisions, especially in the red zone. I know last year we had real problems with that, so that was the main thing was red zone and making good, better decisions. All right. Now, Tim, you're a senior quarterback this year, one of the captains of the team. For the younger players, especially the quarterbacks, uh, what, can you, what advice can you give as far as um, how to approach this season? Well, you know, we got, we got Shelton and Crawford, who are the returning quarterbacks behind me, and uh, we got a couple new freshmen, Dowdy and Williams, and. You know, the main advice I give them is don't take it for granted and, uh, you know, just, just work hard because it time flies. I mean, this will be my senior year. I feel like I just got here yesterday. You know, just, just embrace the moment because you never know when it could be your last play. And just, I mean, work hard. That's the only way you're going to have success is to work hard. So. All right, Tim, as a senior quarterback, you're probably going to get a lot of the reps this year, you know, probably most of them. For the younger quarterbacks that we spoke of earlier, what can you, what do you, would you like to lead by example as far as skills or mindset and game time that uh, they can carry on through their career? The main thing that I try to do is I just leave it all on the field. You know, whatever happens, you know, if you get banged up, if you get knocked out, whatever happens, you know, you just, I just try to fight through it. And you know, you got to play tough and you got to play with heart. And my main thing is, I know after four years of being here. No one's going to say that I quit on them or, you know, I'm, they're going to all say that I left it on the field. And that's the number one goal in football. You know, it's a man's sport and you got to leave it all on the field. Green and hot.